Uh, what we have here is a 60 inch Vizio. This is a E60-C3 and all we get is a quick picture flash or a screen. The screen just flashes. There's no picture. That's it. Um, the lady did tell me that the actual picture half of the TV was dark with the picture before it actually went out and as we can see we'll turn it on and as you can see that's it Okay, right, as you can see on this TV, the actual power connector for the LEDs are in the main board instead of the power supply. And unfortunately on this TV, we have to disconnect that plug in order for the LEDs to light up with our LED checker uh, because evidently the circuit has some type of interference with it. And I'm just one making this video just for you uh, techies out here that um, have had this problem before. Uh, I did check each strip. There's one shorted LED on each strip. As you can see, that one right there close to the end, like three from the end, uh, it's not lighting up. And it is, it is like that on each and every strip. So there's 12 strips. There are 12 LEDs that are shorted. And evidently, uh, that's most likely our problem. And as you can see, the ones that are shorted the most, the most ones are right there in the middle where there's no metal up underneath there to um, absorb the heat on that particular LED. As you can see, there's nothing up under there. So uh, that's most likely why. Poor design. And I'm just putting the LED cover back on it just to show you that the, there is an actual LED right there. I just took all the uh, covers off of the shorted ones so I know which ones are shorted. Like I said, same on both sides. And I, I just do them all at once, I just one side at a time. But as you can see, my LED is actually opposite polarity. So I just scrape one end of the uh, positive uh, side there. I'm sorry, the negative, I don't know. <laughs> but one side is negative, one side is positive, and no cathode. And I'm gonna get a lot of uh, TV repair critics asking or saying comments, uh, why didn't you get, use the correct polarity LED? And you have to go through all that. Well, I've got an answer for you guys. It's because I did not have one. So <laughs> that's why. But anyway, I'm going to put some flux on both ends. That's how I scrap to one side uh, so it doesn't uh, actually short out, you know, with the trace. And um, just put a little solder on each side and it should stick right on there. I want to do it because I'm making the video, but we're getting there, okay? Now, of course, it's not going to be even when you put your LED uh, lens cover on top. So my thing is just light it up first, the whole entire TV once it's fixed, and then put the lens cover on it. That way you can see that the light is even. But anyway, uh, I did replace all of those on that one side. As you can see, they are all lit up when I use my LED checker. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. Okay, now the test of time. We'll go ahead and plug it in. Find our power button. 
as you can see when you first plug it in that light does light up for a second it's going through the boot up sequence can you find it whoop there it is okay uh, everything lit up so we should be good to go Don't worry about that, it's just the shutter speed of my camera because I walked in front of the light there, but uh, everything is, is still lit up. Looks like a disco lights, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay, so now we got all, all back together. And uh, I know a lot of you guys are going to be saying, oh, you got two, uh, those are the lights in the background. Those are not the LEDs. The lens covers didn't fall off of the uh, LED lights and nothing like that, okay? All right, guys, that looks good. Um, oh, one thing I wanted to point out about the TV also is that it has automatic dimming when you walk in front of it. In case you turn the lights out, the TV automatically dims. I guess it saves power. And, um... You know, you can actually walk in front of it. I'll actually show you. I think I'm going to show you in this video. Oh, there we go. Okay, I put my hand in front of the little sensor. It gets dark. When I move my hand away, it gets lights. So don't let don't let that fool you in case you uh, repair it and then you start walking in front of it and it starts flashing. That's just you walking in front of the TV. Okay, guys, that's another one down. Um, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the notification button. And uh, I will see you on the next video. Big Dog, out.